A tank has an inlet and outlet pipe. The inlet pipe fills the tank in 2 hours when the outlet pipe is plugged. The outlet pipe empties the tank in 6 hours when the inlet pipe is plugged. So I hope all of you have understood what it means, right? When the inlet pipe is working alone, outlet pipe is plugged means what? It is closed, right? Pipe is plugged meaning pipe is closed. So when the outlet pipe is closed, the inlet pipe will fill the tank in 2 hours. Similarly, when the inlet pipe is plugged, when the inlet pipe is closed, the outlet pipe will empty the tank in 6 hours. So this is like a regular case. A tank has got uh, two pipes. One is an inlet, the other is an outlet, right? The inlet pipe can fill the tank alone in 2 hours. The outlet pipe can empty the tank alone in 6 hours. Alright? Now, see the first part of the question, right? Part A. It says, if both the pipes are open simultaneously at a time when the tank is one third filled, when will the tank fill thereafter? So already the tank is one third filled, right? One third of the tank is filled. One third of the tank is filled. The remaining two thirds have to be filled. The two thirds have to be filled. So how much time will both the pipes take? Remember, both the pipes are open simultaneously at a time when the tank was one third full. So one third is full. Now if both are opened simultaneously, this is unplugged, that also is unplugged. So how much time will it take thereafter to fill the tank? Nothing to worry about what is given in this uh, question there. First of all, find out how much time will both the pipes take together. See, the first pipe's capacity is 1 by 2. The second pipe's capacity is minus 1 by 6. Why are we taking minus 1 by 6? Because it is doing negative work. Remember the concept of pipes and systems. This pipe is doing a positive work. The second pipe does negative work. So the first pipe's capacity can be taken as 1 by 2 and that of second pipe can be taken as minus 1 by 6. Negative capacity. So find out the total capacity. 6 is the LCM. 3 times minus 1 time. So 2 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 3. So I can say or we can say overall it takes 3 hours. 3 hours to fill the full tank. Right? Full tank. But remember the pipes were unplugged. Both the pipes were opened when the tank was already one third filled. Already one third of the tank is filled. Only two thirds have to be filled now. So for filling the full tank, it takes three hours. For filling one third of the, uh, for filling two thirds of the tank, it will take two thirds of three hours. Are you getting it? So two thirds of the tank is how much? Two thirds of three hours is how much? Two hours. That's your answer. Are you able to follow? Very very simple. I mean nothing complex about it. For filling the full tank, they take three hours. For filling two thirds of the tank, they'll take two hours. Two thirds of the time. So 2 hours should be the answer. So first part of the answer should be 2 hours. So option B and option D get eliminated. Now look at the second part of the question. Right? What is the second part of the question? It says there is a leakage also which is capable of draining out the liquid from the tank at half of the rate of outlet pipe. So there is another output uh, outlet pipe now. Leakage. See leakage like we have discussed in the uh, concepts of time and uh, pipes and systems. Is like outlet pipe, right? A leakage will empty the tank. So it can be taken as an outlet pipe. Now here, he says there is a leakage which is capable of draining out the liquid from the tank at half of the rate of outlet pipe. So let's assume that here is a leakage. And because of that leakage, water is dripping out. Right? Now the capacity of this leakage is half of the rate of outlet pipe. Now if the capacity is half, time taken would be double. We have discussed this already. Capacity and time are reciprocal to each other, right? So if the capacity of this outlet, this leakage is half of this one, the time taken will be double. So if this takes 6 hours, this would take 12 hours. Why? Since capacity is half. Capacity is half implies time taken would be double. So now it is like 3 pipes. One is an inlet which takes 2 hours, 2 are outlets which takes 6 hours and 12 hours respectively. So then, what is the time taken to fill the empty tank, right? Fill the empty tank. Now it is not one third full like in the previous case. It is an empty tank when both the pipes are opened. Both the pipes are opened and remember, leakage is anywhere there. Again, you should not get confused that leakage is opened or not. Leakage is never opened. It, it, it happens by itself, right? So he says both the pipes are opened. Leakage is anyway draining out the water there. So what happens in this case? Positive is 1 by 2. There are two negatives, 1 by 6 and 1 by 12. Simplify. 12 is LCM, so 6 times, 2 times and 1 time. So this is like 3 by 12 or 1 by 4. Implies 4 hours is the time. The total capacity of all three together is 1 by 4. So time taken will be 4 hours. Right? Option C would be the answer. 